what's up guys we are back with founders fortune again this time we've got the alpha 5.04 it's a farming update let's jump right into my save i've i've uh went ahead and i had to start over because the old saves didn't work on the farming update but i went ahead and built some stuff so i didn't have to start all over and you guys go through that process with me as you can see some of these things look a little bit different not only did we get new farms and new plants we can do we also got new walls new floors decorations Oop, wrong button all right let's see here we go we got soil for tomatoes if you remember before i think all we had was just some kind of crop it didn't really specify what it was it looked like apples but it, you know what it was probably tomatoes but we have tomatoes strawberries potatoes wheat which i haven't unlocked yet because i we've got some new stuff in the research i'll show you that here in a second we got pumpkins we have the healing plants and we have some new things here too one of which i haven't unlocked we got a kitchen this is where they can pretty cool looking too it's got a grill on one side got some eyes on the other side pretty neat I like it a lot it looks really cool it takes up a lot of space but you know what that's all right it's a really cool looking little kitchen I, I really like what they did with that uh, we can do pumpkin stew which costs one pumpkin one potato pump potato soup one potato one tomato and fruit salad which is an apple and a strawberry i don't know if i've made any fruit salad yet what do i i forgot what i've got growing i got tomatoes potatoes strawberries pumpkins and healing plants one thing i did notice that i like a lot some of these some of them won't grow in the spring some of them won't grow in the summer some of them won't grow in the fall so you as long as you unlock pretty much everything that you can grow as fast as possible you can always have some sort of food growing um, I have noticed in this update it seems like they eat more there's some guys that are mm -hmm. I think I have one let me see if I can find him he might have died but I did have one that was an overeater and he would eat like five or six freaking food at a time and it kind of sucked when I first started off because I was out of food for the first probably a season or two but he would not stop eating but I think he died so we're doing a little bit better now I know if you noticed last time before this farming update I always had a crap ton of food because I had a big farm I still have a big farm but it doesn't seem like the food's lasting quite as long which is fine I mean it gives my farmer something to do up here you see we have raw food now we just had this before and it was just food now we have raw food, apples, tomatoes, pumpkins, potatoes, strawberries, and wheat. We also have cooked food now. So whenever um, we make something in the kitchen, and now the fireplace has added a couple new things too. We have baked apples, potatoes, and tomatoes. But either way, whenever they cook something in one of those, it goes over into the cooked food instead. Uh, what else do we have up here new? I think everything up here is pretty much the same. Um, We'll stick to the food stuff for a minute and then we'll go look at the walls and whatnot. Uh, the basic farming, you unlock the tomatoes and the potatoes. And then we have irrigation, where we unlock the pumpkins, strawberries, the kitchen, and the well. This is the well. Um, if we go to... which one was it in? Not the, oh, hold on. Here we go. Okay. The tools we have a watering can in here now it says you need to have a watering can to provide optimal care plants have been plants that have been watered correctly have been reported to yield double or triple harvest i haven't really paid that much attention to that yet but i did make some watering cans for my farmers yep, yep he says he has a watering can so every once in a while he'll go over here and fill it up in the well he'll go pour water on the plants i'm sure it is giving bigger yields but I haven't paid enough attention to it to to really confirm that or not if it is actually working um, back up to the research so we have the well the kitchen 
strawberries and pumpkins. And then, where did the other ones come into play? I think it was grain processing is what I'm unlocking, or I'm, I'm researching now. So we can unlock the soil for the wheat and the bakery. I haven't unlocked that at all yet, so I haven't really messed around with it. But the bakery looks like it's going to be pretty big, like the kitchen, take up some space. But it's really cool looking too. I'm I'm excited to unlock that and see how it looks in the game. I really like the designs of the kitchen and the bakery. They, I don't know, it just seems like a kind of a step up from the other stuff. Just the plain old table and boring stuff, you know. Like they, they, it looks like they put a lot more work into these and a lot more detail. Maybe we can... Maybe we can get an update for the chairs and the tables, and maybe some little designs on them or something, just to make them look a little, look a little neater. Uh, I don't think the designs on any of this, the tables and stuff, have changed. The workshops. Uh, we don't have anything new in any of these right now. No. Okay. So. We'll unlock the, the grain processing and that'll be everything for the farm. But I mean, it just, it gives a lot more, just different stuff we can plant. I like it a lot. I mean, I, I like, I like games where I can and have different varieties of foods and cooking and stuff like that. But I don't like just regular farming and cooking games. I just like that to be a, an extra little thing we can have. Mm -hmm. These guys will, if they eat, like me, should have prepared a campfire. He had to eat simple food. I don't know why he's complaining. I have cooked food. Um, I think the devs are still trying to get that worked out. They're, I'm still having a problem with them eating uncooked food when there's plenty of cooked food for them to eat and there's no allergies to them I mean some of them will have allergies mm -hmm. to a specific mm -hmm. food I don't know if I have any of those guys right now yep experienced mm -hmm. in battle mm -hmm. he has a favorite food apple strudel which is not a thing so I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to make that because that's not an option for me to make it. I don't know. Unless maybe it's a thing. Ah, oh, you know what? I bet it's a thing with the bakery. Yep. I didn't think about that. Ah, see, this guy's allergic to tomatoes. So if he eats a tomato, he'll have an allergic reaction. I've seen that. Not cool. Okay, so let's throw off the walls and stuff real quick, and then I'm I'm going to cut this one a little bit short. I just wanted to show you guys the updates. Um... I, th I believe we had these before, so these are nothing new. I don't have all of the stuff up. This is old, I believe, but these are new. This design, this is the... Uh-oh, okay. Let's pause that, and I don't want to get attacked right now. This is the rough stone floor. It's uh, it's pretty cool looking, kind of modernish. That's also the, I believe, I believe it's called the same thing. No, nope, stone tile walls. And then rough stone. No, stone tile floors. I'm sorry, I had that mixed up. Stone tile floor and stone tile wall. We have the rough one. Uh, we also have this simple path now. I don't think we had this before. And that's what this is, because I was just using the stone floor for the path, but now we have an actual stone path. It's pretty neat. Um, defense, if you didn't see that, that's new. We didn't have any kind of fences before, I don't believe. If we did, I'd never noticed. But, I mean, you don't have to have a fence, but it really looks cool around the garden. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have ornamented, or, ornamented wooden floor with metal engravings. Two wood, two iron ore. The, once you get up from the simpler stuff, just the basics, it starts costing you more resources. There's like there's a mid over wooden floor. I haven't unlocked it yet because I've unlocked towers and those two as well. And they just have different designs, They're kind of cooler looking than, than just the basic wood. We have that's no, it's pretty neat. We're still just with the regular wooden door right now. I'm sure they'll add a stone doorway or something later. Um, 
do the walls. I think we had these thatch work ones before, so that's nothing new, but we do have like overlapping wooden wall, natural wooden wall, just different designs, just to spice it up a little bit. We have a whole bunch of new pillars, different, uh, different corners you put them on, support pillars and stuff they look like, just for looks, nothing special. You can really spice up your neighborhood here. That's, I haven't done any of the pillars right now. I'm, that's kind of the last thing on my mind right now because I keep getting attacked and people getting sick and they're eating the wrong foods and they're getting pissed off and then they don't want to work. And so pillars aren't really on the top of my list of things to worry about at the moment. And this is, I mean, I've went quite a few seasons. Two hours, 26 minutes in this world. Colonist happiness. I think this all, I think all of this is new. Game info and stats. We have I'm playing the exciting world. I'll show you that in a minute. They added some new um, gameplay options when you're making a new world. Uh, Colony wealth 53. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I, I'm assuming that's good. Colonist happiness negative eight. So that's obviously not good. I mean, but you know they keep eating the simple food when I have cooked food, and they keep eating the uncooked stuff and. Then they complain about it. They're getting pissed off. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. I can't make them eat the cooked food. I can't force them to do it. So I just have to deal with that for now. Uh, we have some new settings for the colonists. Only cut designated trees. Only mine designated rocks and ores. Only gather designated plants. I'm not really exactly sure what those are supposed to do because... When you, yeah. where's my miner? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I can uncheck and check these to make him only do specific ones. And he doesn't mess with any of the other ones, so I'm not really sure why. Oh, okay, never mind. I think I remember what this was for. This was, we, there was a couple of us that suggested maybe having a specific area that the person will stay in because if they don't, they'll end up wandering off to get cotton over here and over here and just work their way closer to the bad guys and then they end up dead. And I think if I did like designated plants, sent him over here to get this cotton, which doesn't exist right now because it's still, it hasn't grown back yet because my winter just ended. I think he would only stay in that area and he wouldn't wander off to the next one. I haven't even messed with that yet because I haven't had too much of a problem with them wandering off right now. But there's that. Um, what else new? Let's save this real quick. I'm about to get attacked. Let's go back to the main menu. If we did a new game, this is the other new thing. We have three different world types now, our difficulties. So we have a calm world, more relaxing experience if you prefer creative base building over combat and survival. Your colonists take half the damage from all kinds of injuries. Colony starts with 120 food and colonists can survive on smaller food rations. But they'll still die if you don't take care of them. So we still have that. So it's not quite a creative mode, but it's close to it. I, I, I would like to see a creative mode. Just so I can just play around with building, seeing how like things set up. I mean, it's not something that I absolutely need. It would just be kind of nice. Uh, we have the exciting world. That's that's the normal one that I'm playing on. Um, I believe this is the basic one that that we had before. It seems to be the pretty much the same setup. Then we have a dangerous world. I have not tried this one yet because I have a hard enough time with the exciting world. Uh, the world is a harsh place, so good luck trying to survive with fra fragile little colonists. They take 50% more damage. They start with 20 food instead of 30 in that one. Uh, catastrophes happen more often. Challenge for veteran players. Yeah, if you say so. Um, another thing I thought of. I'm not going to be able to show you this because it's not going on right now and I can't make it happen. Um, when you have your plants grown, you'll get a bug infestation and they'll start attacking a couple of your plants and it really, really quickly spreads to the other plants and kills them. You can take your guys, you right click one and, and they'll remove the 
infested plants. Um, I haven't, I've had it happen a couple times, but I haven't had any time where I've been able to get the plants removed before they took over the pretty much everything that I had in this section. Um, I haven't had a problem like um, my tomatoes. I had my tomatoes, they got infested with the bugs. I had some stuff growing somewhere over here as well. And I didn't have a problem with it jumping from here to there and infesting those plants as well. It kind of stayed just on these. So it killed off all of these and didn't mess with anything else that I had growing. So that's good. That's something, I don't know if they meant to set it up like that or if that was an accident and they're going to fix it. But for now, I would spread out. I mean, leave a gap between each garden, I guess you could say. I don't know if they have it coded to where, like if I had all these pushed together, I don't know if they had it coded, if they have it coded to where it would jump from one type of plant to another, or if it's just specifically for like my tomatoes. So for now, just to be safe, I leave a gap between each type of plant that I have growing. But just a suggestion, I don't know if it actually makes a difference or not. I haven't really tested it the, this update came out over the weekend i haven't had a whole lot of time to play it with work and everything but um i think that's pretty much everything that's new i'm just i'm really digging this kitchen man i really like it it's i love the detail on it i love the pans hanging there got the little door open on this thing just you can see the fire in there Get the glow through the eyes, a little wooden spoon, that looks like potatoes, knife set, tomatoes, and wheat, I, even, I don't even have wheat, but that's, that's besides the point. You know what I did think was funny is on the, the food shelf there's, oh god, oops, nope, didn't mean to do that. There's carrots, and there's meat, and... That looks like bread and cheese. As far as I know, like, I mean, I haven't unlocked the, the new, the bakery ordeal yet, but there's no cheese or bread or meat or carrots in this game. So I don't know where my guys are getting these things from for these shelves, but that uh, the, there's something, something weird going on around here that I don't know about. It's it's not not a big deal. I'm just I thought it was kind of silly that there's things on there that we don't have access to in the game. I'm not saying they should remove them. I'm just that's just me being a little anal about it. I guess that looks like some kind of hatchet. Maybe no. It's, oh, it's a spatula. Spatula just sitting there on the grill, melting from the heat. Yeah. Oh, uh, see if. Well, I don't know if the, the fire is supposed to be kind of moving. I don't know. I really like the detail on the grill, though. It's really, it's really cool. The kitchen, whatever it's called. Um, I think that's all we had on that update to show you guys. So, I will... Next time we have another update with... I mean, another significant update with things for me to show you guys. I will definitely make another video for you. Um, if you have any suggestions, just leave me a comment or something, something you'd like to see, any maybe building types or something you'd like me to test out, anything like that. Just leave me a comment and I will see what I can do. And until I see you guys next time, thanks for watching.